Welcome to Vlogmas 2020, where I am vlogging every day in December leading up to Christmas. shaking about and I'm sorry about that. I got two calls this morning about an alpaca out. Um, the first call, apparently someone saw an alpaca out, knew it was who it belonged to, called someone who they knew knew me, and that person called me. And then about five minutes later, the sheriff office calls me because someone had called in and, and reported to them that uh, an alpaca was out. And that kind of thing is normal here. This is a cattle area. You know, they get calls about cattle out or, you know, whatever it is. <clears throat> the sheriff's office knows who owns what property. And so they call when, when there's a situation. Uh, and I've gotten calls in the past about an alpaca out. And every once in a while, I go through this with somebody in my herd who has found a way to get out. And we seem to play this game of, we try to fix the fence, they keep finding places to get out, and we keep fixing the fence, they keep getting out. Uh, so most of this year, I don't remember this year having any issues with someone. I think last year with Vlogmas, I had an issue with someone, I don't remember. But every once in a while, I seem to go through this little season with somebody who keeps getting out and we keep trying to fix the fence and figuring it out. Um, and this time it is Seal. Uh, Mr. Seal Kalate. And it's the same area he keeps getting out, which is on the north end of my boy's pasture, which is right next to the highway, the highway that I'm driving on right now. My land is on this highway. So, okay, you can see out the back door, you know, there's an easement here and then there's a field or a pasture off to the side. So when they can see him, he is like up at the top. I will show you the property. Um, and there's once before we, he got so close to the road that he was on the part that's mowed. Um, the state comes along and mows the side of the highway. I don't know how many feet wide they, they mow it. But anyway, he was on the mowed part. And for two calls to come to me, then alpaca is out. Either he's on that part or he's very close to it. Um, because most of the easement, like from the fence line to the road, is down an embankment. So in most of the space, if he was in it, they would not be able to see him. So for them to see him... He is somewhere dangerous. <laughs> so uh, in the past, like my dad's been handling this whole situation, um, getting him in and uh, fixing fence. <clears throat> and my dad did work on fence a couple days ago. And I said, okay, well, you know, we have this welded wire fence that we should just put up in this section that we know he's getting out. Um <clears throat> I'll show you the situation with the fencing. Um, but yeah, so 
My dad was on a call this morning. I couldn't even tell him that CEO was out. At least that's who I think is out. Um, and my dad had already said, <clears throat> excuse me, sinus drainage. <laughs> Not COVID, sinus drainage. My dad already said he was going to do the chores today. So I'd already made plans um, <clears throat> to show you my studio, finish up cleaning my fiber studio and what's going on with that. And have it ready to start working in there. Now I'm behind someone who's driving still. Anyway, so this is throwing my whole day off. And this is also <clears throat> actually day one. I'm a couple of days, I'm filming, filming a couple of days prior to what you're seeing. And I did that because last year was just too stressful. <laughs> trying to do it really close to when I was publishing videos. So this year I'm doing it a little bit different. And um, yeah, so today was going to be, oh, I said all that because day one video is going to be releasing a little bit later than I wanted today. Uh, this is why. So if you were looking for day one video, this is why it's late. <laughs> okay, I'm almost there. Let's see what, what's going on. Okay. What is going on? This is where he would be, where they would see him. If it's the right guy. I don't see him. I do not see him. Let me get this phone off of here to show you. Hold on a moment. Okay. Down in here is where he was getting out. I do not see him. Do you see him? So this fence line here is what I was talking about. Being right next to the highway, you see there. Um... He didn't make his way over on this side. I don't see him here. All right, so now I'm gonna find him. And if it wasn't him, perhaps it was the girls over on S Road. But where is this little critter? Okay, so sometimes when I drive in, all the boys will go to the barn. So let's count on them doing that. I'm also gonna count my dark ones. I have three dark guys. Way up on the crest there is one of them, but that looks to be a Surrey that is not going to be CO. I don't see him yet. And it's possible he made his way underneath the fence back in. I'm not seeing him. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There should be 19 in this group. Eleven. They're starting to move. 12. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. None of them look to be CO to me. Fifteen. Let's get on over here. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Alright, I'm short one. I'm short one. Where could he be? Could have. Sorry about the bumpiness. There he is. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. All right. So he found his way back here. This is an alfalfa bale. We have yet to open. He did discover that once before. Can you see him off in the distance there? He's realized that there's girls on the other side of that fence. See ya! You saw him. He was just here next to this bale. So he made his own way back. This little goofball. He knows the gate that we take him back in is right over here next to that bale. So I'm going to wait. Till he makes his way over here. 
You know, I was in the middle of getting ready this morning. I didn't even brush my hair or anything. <laughs> I was putting my makeup on. So I rushed to get ready and come on out here. Thankfully, he is not where he can get injured or cause a problem with a car. <sighs> He's looking for the girls. See ya! See ya! Little dude! Time to go back with your buddies! My phone said it was 24 degrees when I was leaving the house. I stepped outside and it was... did not feel... Like I needed my heavy coat. Come on, lad. This is not where you belong. All right, my camera stopped filming, and I don't know why. Sure, it starts right when he's about to do that, so I won't. I won't show you that. But <laughs> I don't know what you missed. I know. I know it was filming us in this pasture. I don't know what I said or didn't say. Uh, I guess a summary of what I was talking about. This pasture is at rest. This is my middle pasture where I had my young boys. And I've removed everyone because the youngest was Oliver and he graduated over to the big boys. And so I separated. Um, I moved them to different areas. Most of them went into this big boy group over here. And I'll, I'll say, it's been a lot calmer having one big boy group than having the two that I did. Um, so, I know that's not always the case. There's so many factors that goes into the, the social dynamics. And, uh, but anyway, Sue is now in this pasture where the gate was removed. And so, it's, it's wide open. He was able to walk in here. All right, he... Maybe he's not done relieving himself. <laughs> we'll just watch these boys in the distance as they're all moving around up there. I know it really does not come off nearly as well on camera as it does in real life. And they look farther away to you than me. But Alright, Sio, are you done? Because I gotta get you in there and be moving on with my day. Theo, it's your own stuff. Okay, bud. It's time to get a move in. Let's get you back over there. Go on back to the barn. Come on. I'll go open the gate for you. He might be used to my dad doing this. I have not had to do this with him this time around. He might be behaving differently. Go on. <laughs> Let's go on up to the gate, Theo. Go on. Come on. Now I gotta take the ice out of that tank. It's not hooked up to the solar panels yet. Solar panels are still back there. That was one of the projects that still need to be done. All right, so I'm gonna go open the gate. There's no other guys here to get in his way. All right, I gotta do this before the other boys see the gate open. I move that way. Come on, bud. See the gate open? Go on. I'm holding my arm out. There we go. There we go. And down he goes. All right. I'm going to break the ice out of their water and go take care of the girls. Thought I was going to have a break from chores today, but maybe a different day. <laughs> So I'm done getting all the ice out of the tank. You could see a pile over there next to the tank. That's two days worth. The last couple of nights have been very cold. 
But here you can see three llamas. <laughs> and these two guys are brothers. They're, I believe they're full brothers too. And uh, this is usually the greeting right at the gate. Part of it is they want attention, maybe some treats. This guy, Roman, wants attention. This guy, Gus, wants treats. So they're both coming over. But there tends to be llamas right here at the gate when I or guests come. And I think it's part of their guarding behavior uh, that they'll actually stand here and block you from getting in to the alpacas. You can see all over there standing high above the alpacas. <laughs> but I love genetics. Now these two guys, my dad suggested that I get these guys trained to pull a cart together. Look at them. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Yeah. So I would say that's some goals. Train them to pull a cart together. Look at that. They'd be so cute. There are some parades and stuff around here that I could uh, get them into, and that would be fun. That would be fun. But yes. So is it, this is the first time you'll be able to see Oliver, um, Vinny. This is Vinny, along with Oliver. Now, Oliver, will you come stand over here? I want to talk genetics because Oliver is half brother to Roman and Gus, and Vinny is his dad. So, over here. I love looking at him and seeing what he got from his mom, what he got from his dad. Hi, Ollie. Hello, bud. Hi. Yes, he's a cutie. Remember, he was my bottle baby. His mom died when he was five weeks old. So he got the bottle for a while, and Gus was his surrogate parent. He did get sheared this year for the first time. But, all right, I know there's some distance here, but I'll just kind of show you. You can see the family resemblance. He, Oliver is a very nice blend of his parents. I will say, very nice blend. He has his dad's head. He has some color influence from his mom. And his fiber is a mix of the two. His mom and dad did have different fiber types. So he's a nice mix. And you could tell he's a very nice demeanor. Just a really nice animal. Very nice. Very nice llama. Thank you for joining me today for Vlogmas 2020. I'll see you tomorrow.